Okay, so as you can see, I'm running Windows 10 on my Raspberry Pi. So not really, uh, this is actually an undercover mode, uh, which is supplied by Kali Linux. Uh, and so if I click on other and pop it back, there you can see that's what the desktop actually looks like. And you see now it's more familiar uh, as, a, as a Linux distro. Okay, so I was looking through my Google News this morning uh, and this popped up. Uh, a Linux distro can now go undercover and pretend to be Windows 10. So why would you want a fake Windows 10 desktop? As the developers explain, if you're using Kali in a public place on your laptop and hacking away happily, you might not want the distinctive Kali dragon for everyone to see and wonder what it is you're doing. Uh, so this way, those sitting nearby or casual passers-by who might have glanced at your screen will also likely think you're running Windows 10 and not a specialist Linux security distro. Uh, so I thought I'd have a look at it because it did look very Windows 10 from the screenshot. But I went to Safari uh, and I put in Kali Linux and uh, went to download and then went down through and found, yeah, the ARM images on the bottom here. So Kali ARM images. I and mean, then if we scroll down, you'll see there's Raspberry Pi uh, and there you go, Kali Linux Raspberry Pi 2, 3 and 4, 64 bit. So this is a torrent. Um, so I'll move over to my Mac because I couldn't work out how to do it on my iPad. I didn't spend ages trying to work out how to do it on my iPad. So I just went straight over to the Mac. So when you click on the file, uh, it downloads this little torrent file, little tiny file. Uh, and then I downloaded BitTorrent on my Mac and all I did was to grab this and I dragged it over uh, and when you let go it starts to download on its own. Now initially it showed up, well it's saying ETA Infinity at the moment, uh, which is nice, uh, but it has done 25%. Uh, initially it was showing up that it was going to take about 17 hours. So uh, I guess I'll catch up with you when it's downloaded. The download is finished. Let's go over to Belena Etcher. Select the image from my downloads, Kali Linux, it's in a folder, and there it is. Open, and then flash. So let's have a look at the system, all booted up. Uh, I haven't really changed anything with this, I haven't been messing about. Actually, I did change uh, the clock and I changed some of the region settings uh, to, to log in. Uh, the username is root and the password is T-O-O-R, so root backwards. Uh, so if I click on things like settings, you can see it looks very nice. Uh, the, all the Windows stuff is also under appearance, so you can choose various different things. So Windows 10, you can click on, um, and I can go back to uh, that Kali Dark. But I can also change the icons to look like Windows 10, or, or what was it on? I can't remember what it was on before. I think it was probably on that one. Uh, and the fonts the same, you can do all sorts of settings with. So there's a lot of customization, as there often is with Linux. Uh, I can see there's multiple desktop options there. There's a screen recorder. Um, I haven't tried that, but it looks like, so it's all built in. So Kazam screen recorder, full screen, all screens, window and area, uh, screenshot and screencast. So that's interesting, because I haven't come across that uh, pre-installed. And if I go back up to, uh, so you can see it's heavily into security on Kali Linux. And uh, I mean, I won't get into that because I don't understand enough of that side of it uh, to make any sense of it. Uh, but you can see here accessories. Uh, so we've got notes, screenshot, sensor viewer, an archiver. Uh, looks like a CD burning, yeah, CD even DVD burning software. Uh, there's an image viewer. Internet, this obviously everybody knows Firefox, but Wireshark, Network Traffic Analyzer, Multimedia, off we got Kazam, uh, which was that, wasn't it? That was the screen recorder. We've got a media player, audio volume control. Under Office, there's just the dictionary, but obviously it's Linux, so you can install some free great Office systems on there. Um, under other, that's the Kali undercover mode, so you can switch into to make it look like Windows, which I, I just, for some reason, I just find that really fun. That, that, that is a cool little feature, especially the way it changes it. Uh, and then system, 
There we go. So we've got our terminal and various things in there. Is there anything under that? No, that's all there is there. So if we go back to other and let's just do that Kali undercover mode again because I like it so much. <laughs> it's just so cool. Uh, and, it, and it really does. I mean, I, I would be fooled. I, I wouldn't be thinking anything of it. Uh, so again, you go back into uh, other... Oh, it's even got an office icon here. I didn't realise that before. That Internet Explorer for web browser, the file manager. That is that is cool. Very well done on that. Uh, so other, and let's go back to Kali Linux. What we got here? Minimize all open windows and show the desktop. That's nice to have. Root. So that's file access, uh, and then terminal. And then at the top here, you've got all these. There, or there's the Wi-Fi, obviously sound icons, notifications, and so on. Uh, let's just do a little quick test on performance on the web browser. Uh, so if I click on web browser. So if I now go into, if I now change it, uh, other, Kali undercover mode, what happens? Does the web browser start? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I, I quite like that. I, you know I like that because I keep going on about it. Right, so Hot UK Deals. Let's uh, get a few pages up. Hot UK Deals. In one of my previous videos, I showed uh, a, a YouTube running at 1080 uh, really well, and that was on WebOS. So check out that if you want, if you want YouTube to run really well. Uh, so let's get another page up. Let's get back. Launch on UK deals, BBC. This is just running from a normal SD card. I've done my usual overclock, two gigahertz, 750 on the graphics. Uh, although people tell me that only I think 620 is supported, but it doesn't seem to diminish it any. So BBC, let's launch that one. Go back into our UK deals. Scrolls reasonably smoothly, uh, and then BBC. Yeah, not bad. Uh, and then if I go into YouTube, and let's just click on something here. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go with something like this because it probably looks like it's decent quality. So advert, we'll pop that full screen. Great travel hack. Watch it now. Oh, bit slow, bit jumpy. It's an unskippable ad. Oh no, it is skippable. There we go. This is the two thousand. Oh yeah, it doesn't look so great. So that's in ten eighty. So the the audio is stuttering. Yeah, it's not good. Press F to take it out of full screen. Just press paste to pause that. So YouTube performance not great, but that's pretty common. That's pretty par for the course for uh, Raspberry Pi 4, and uh, hopefully they'll start to sort it out soon. Does all, all of this looks just like Windows as well, doesn't it? I know I'm obsessing over the Windows bit, but it, it just it's intriguing me as to how well they've how well they've done that. Yeah. <laughs> So let's go back. Uh, click. What happens if I click on Office then? Nothing, just the dictionary bit. And the, even that looks like uh, an old uh, text file. Other Kali undercover mode. Let's close that down. Okay, so. I hope this helps with the installation and I hope you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.